Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. Also tonight, Australia's Dr Doolittle and the authorities who are trying to put him out of business. Well, he's been described as Australia's very own Dr Doolittle, performing miracle cures on animals that vets said should be put down. But his work has put him offside with human chiropractors who are now taking him to court. Magella Wemers has his story. <laughs> This is John Jamison, known to his patients and their owners Hi, as Dom. Good. Okay. I'm a unique animal healer. Of course, he's sore through the spine and he's got nerves. Pinch. So what I'm going to do is release his head and I'll release down his spine. Then I'm going to release the nerves and then he'll let me pull his back leg back. For 25 years, he's been treating dogs, cats and horses who've been in pain. Conventional animal healers, those with proper medical qualifications, in some cases recommended those same animals be put down. But Doc, with no formal training, has managed to heal them. And that has won him glowing reports, his fans even organising a rally to show their support. Oh, the vet said that, they, that he probably wouldn't be able to walk again when we first found him. And after one treatment he was almost right. She couldn't walk and the vet said, just put her down. And um, within three weeks of treatment with Doc, she's running around like she always did. Oh, she saved her life, yes. The list of satisfied customers keeps growing. Handsome the show horse and his owner, Lee Edwards, are also converts to Doc's rather unconventional methods. He actually lets me know, like he told me, oh, I'm really sore, so I needed to call Doc to get him to come out. He tells you. <laughs> How does that he's work? actually, if you're watching him, he's actually telling Doc where he's sore as well. If you look at his face, he pulls faces and, and he's sort of saying, no, that's not comfortable there. Um, excuse me, you know, oh yeah, and I'm sore there. See how yeah. he's telling Doc? But now it's Doc that's in a world of pain and his unique healing hands may be no more, thanks to the Chiropractors Board of Queensland. It all began four years ago when they sent him a letter saying he had to make it clear he didn't treat two-legged patients. Now Doc is adamant he never said he did. I don't do humans, I only do animals. Okay, mate, that's it. But Good the board boy. are still chasing him. Now they're suing Doc for using the word chiropractor to describe what he does. In the horse industry, it's a common term for somebody who works with their musculature and stuff. They just say, you know, I'm getting the chiro out. We don't assume that they've got chiropractic qualifications. People have just called him chiropractor, I think, just out of use because he works on muscle manipulation. And that's it, he's, he's a muscle manipulator. I do muscle work and realign the animal, which is releasing nerves. This is why people call me a canine chiropractor. But you've never studied as a chiropractor? No. And you don't hold a medical degree? No. And have you ever said that you do? No, never, never, ever. Doc's tried to do everything right, changing the name of his business entirely to include no mention of any form of mainstream medicine. Now it's Doc Jamison's heaven on earth animal healing. And because of the legal costs and loss of business from people unable to yeah, find their healer yeah. when he changed his business name, Beautiful. he's already had to close many clinics. And I had to shut him down. And I just didn't want to do the wrong thing. The only thing he has left now is the support of those loyal patients. I don't understand why a chiropractic board for humans is dealing with someone who heals animals. I mean, why would you stick your nose in? We're not get, going for the paper, we're going for someone who'll actually treat our horses and, and give the, get the results that we want. I'll fight to the end. I'm an animal lover. Magella Wemers there and the Chiropractors Board of Queensland declined to comment on the case as it's due before the court.